click right there click the channel then click in the videos tab and then scroll through the videos and watch any video you ain't seen before and make sure you like comment and subscribe if you ain't subscribed and hit the notification bell and when you do all this you was teaching youtube robot algorithms that hood horror is content that y'all love and then they'll push me more thank y'all now late at night it ain't nothing scarier in the world than the projects. The projects is the worst place to be in the whole country of the USA at night. Ain't nowhere no scarier, man. I don't care about no abandoned mental asylums, institutions, abandoned hospitals, schools, old haunted mansions. Ain't none of that most scary. Then the projects at nighttime, man. You be out of the projects at nighttime, you see a, you know, you'll see like a tumbleweed, but the tumbleweed is, uh, got needles and stuff in it. There's an old cigarettes, and then you see a crackhead scurry, scurry by. Shh. <laughs> you know, the project, you know, ain't nothing so crackheads scuttling and scurrying. And, and look, at nighttime, crackheads be at full power. <laughs> Think I'm lying. One time I looked out my window, I seen a, a crackhead swinging across the rooftops like he Batman or something, man. I'm trying to tell you. Well, anyway, anyway, uh, when late at night like that, ain't nobody outside unless they either selling drugs or buying drugs. And folks who sell drugs will kill you for messing with them. And folks who use drugs will kill you just to steal a few dollars from you and get high. So that's why you need to have your butt up in the house. Now me, I never be out late. But I had to because I had this new job. And I had to be at work by 6 a.m. So I had to leave the house at like 4 something in order to get there on time on the bus or whatever. Because I ain't had no car. You know, I had to ride the bus. Now one morning I left early because I couldn't sleep. And on my way down the stairs, I heard somebody, um, like making noise. Like, now you know, the stairs is, you know, it's multiple floors on the projects, you know, a whole bunch of floors or whatever. So you got these big old stairwells. And, um, when, but in the, in the sound in there echo. So if somebody makes some noise at the bottom, like it echo all the way up it or whatever. So I hear some noise down there. Now, it sounded like somebody was trying to carry or move something heavy or something. So my man telling me that somebody probably down there uh, doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. And you know, I ain't going to say nothing because you just use your imagination. There's a couple of things that could be going down. And whatever it is, I'm like, me, I ain't trying to see nothing. All right? Because I ain't finna tell no police what I done seen. And you ain't finna, you don't think I'm finna snitch on it. See, folks be doing wrong. They don't want to get mad at you because you done seen them doing wrong. But don't do wrong in front of everybody then. You know, man, like, folks want to get mad that you, uh, you know, get mad. Oh, he, he seen it. Well, quit, you going to do wrong right in the broad daylight. Then get mad mugs and think you do wrong, man. You know, the nerve of these, uh, folk, man. Anyway, man, um. So that was one of my rules, man. Stay up out of people's business. So I went to the other side of the building to use the other stairwell because the elevator was broke, as usual. And plus me, I didn't like riding the elevator anyway, man. To me, I felt like everything else in the projects, they don't care. They don't try to fix it and keep it. They keep it all raggedy. So the heck, the elevator going to be work? Heck no. <laughs> I ain't getting me, man. So... I take the stairs anyway, man. So I went down to the other side of the building and go down the other stairs. Now, on my way down, I kind of felt like I heard some noise again. But at this point, I'm like, look, man, I got to go. I can't, uh, you know, I ain't finna miss work because of, you know, somebody doing something wrong. I'm just going to keep my head down and put my hoodie on and do what I got to do, man. Now, when I got down there, I saw this old guy who been selling drugs since I was a kid, man. 
you know, I, I always saw him and stuff. He, you know, he, he, you know, always, he saying, what up, young blood? You know, them old guy be, man. So, and, uh, before I could, like, figure out what was going on, as what I could only explain as zombie crackheads was eating this man. Ripping, just, just, but before they could see me or hear me, I was gone. Cause like I said, I mind my business, so, peace.